So I'm going to very quickly use Homebrew to install Java JDK, Maven and IntelliJ. So the first thing I really need to do is, if you don't have Homebrew installed, go off to brew.sh, the website, then copy and paste this line here that's actually on their website into a terminal on your Mac and you will install Brew. Typically, once I've got Brew installed, I will do a Brew update just to check that it is up to date. Then I need to make sure that uh, Java is not installed. So Java C minus version, I have to use Java C because I want the Java JDK. It isn't installed. I'm not going to install it through the normal Mac. I'm going to use Homebrew. I want to install Maven. So I check that Maven is installed. MVN minus version. Maven is not installed and neither is IntelliJ. So what I'm going to do now. So for Homebrew, to install Java, what I want to do is I want to type uh, brew cask java but the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to check which version of java it's going to install so that's going to be jdk version 9 great let's do that then so i will say brew cask install java so this will go away download everything silently install it and it will also install the jre it will install the source code for the JDK and make everything a lot easier for me going forward. Brew is the fastest way I know of getting the Mac up to speed ready for development work. Okay, so that says it's successfully installed. Okay, so with Java installed, I can now move on to installing Maven. So to do that, I would do brew install Maven. I just want to check what version it's going to do first. So it will install version 3.5.2 of Maven. So let's install that. Brew install Maven. Okay, Maven minus version. All right, so now I want to check whether everything's working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off to Git. I'm going to go off to my evil tester account because I have got a start using Java one in there. Start using Java JUnit. Now, if I download this one, it will allow me to easily check whether I've installed everything that I need to. So I'm just going to download the zip file for this. So in my terminal, if I cd into downloads, cd into the folder that I just downloaded, the start using JUnit master, there's the pom.xml. So here, if I type maven test, if everything has installed correctly, this should work and run the unit tests that are in that project. So it's downloading the dependencies that are in the project, which is essentially JUnit. run the test and it worked. So now I have Java, JDK and Maven installed. I need to now install IntelliJ. So brew has a search command. So if I do brew search IntelliJ, 
it will tell me that I can install the IntelliJ IDEA, the 2016 one, or IntelliJ IDEA CE. IntelliJ IDEA CE is the community edition, which is the free edition, so that's the one that I want to install. And I can see it's a cask, so what I want to do is brew cask install and then intel EJ idea CE. So let's see an IntelliJ is installed. So it comes up in Spotlight now. So I'm just going to set everything to defaults. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do open. Okay, it's a Maven project. I should be able to just open it in IntelliJ. Now I unzipped everything into the downloads. There it is there. I want the folder that's got the POM file in it. So if I just do open this. So IntelliJ has opened the project. I should now be able to There's the test of running, it's very small. I should be able to just run this from the IDE. Right click, run my first test. Right, can't start the compiler, the SDK is not specified. Now that could be that the Java home isn't set. What we'll do, just to fix it, is saying set up SDK, let's click on that. So I see new SDK. So I'm going to put it in the root folder of the JDK there, which is in the library Java, Java Virtual Machines, JDK there. Open. So it's picked up Java 9. I'll say OK. Now if I run the, well, once this has gone away, my virtual machine's a little bit slow and flickery. Okay, so that's finished indexing. We should now hopefully be able to right click, run this test. This is flickering because it's in the virtual machine. Um, I need to update everything. Probably create a new virtual machine, give it more memory, that kind of stuff. But for the moment, this is how it is. Well, it's compiled, so it's found the SDK. It's running test. Go, go, go. There we go, so that run. And remember, I can always use the terminal in here to run Maven commands in here. And there we go. So I've used Homebrew to set up the Java JDK and Maven and IntelliJ. The commands will be in the description for this. I had to set up the SDK. IntelliJ prompted me to do that. So otherwise, I would have clicked on the project, used the project structure settings to set up the SDK in the project. And that's it. Homebrew is the easiest way to get started with this. Pretty much three commands and you're good to go.